Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to part one of my How to Build Makuta 2016. So this is going to be a short series, of course. It's only going to be like five or six videos, of course. So um, in this series, I will show you how to build this guy right here. This 2016 Makuta, and yes, he is out of the screen, I know. He's just too tall. That's how great he is. But in this series, I will teach you, or just, I guess, show you how to build this awesome combiner model. And, uh, yeah, there really isn't too much else. So in this first part of the video, I guess, or the part one of this video, yeah, it will be on the legs. So I guess that's why we got it down here. Um, if you were hoping to see any of the other things, like the staff or the body, don't worry. I will be doing those um, in another part of the, in another uh, video so stay tuned for that so anyways without any further ado let's start building the legs okay so we are going to go ahead and start off with the foot so the foot is going to be a pretty simple build and you will need the following pieces this is a large foot tiny foot uh, two trans orange borok eyes one black borok eye one of these friction joints two red axles, and one four long axle in black. So we're just going to go ahead and start off by taking this large foot and taking the four long axle, and we'll go ahead and slide it right there. Not all the way in, though, not yet at least, because we are whoops, going to take this other tiny foot and place it in right there. Then we will go ahead and put that, all, that axle all the way in. So then it should look like this. Next, we're going to take our black Borok eye and place it facing that way, or backwards, I guess. So that so it should look like this now. Next, we are going to go ahead and add the uh, friction joint on the first socket, or the front one. Then we'll go ahead and add some red axles on the sides of the large foot. And then have some trans-orange Borok eyes sticking up. And that is the foot. You are done with the foot now. Now let's move on to the lower leg. Okay, so for this next part, you will again need these following pieces. You will need two of these, one of these armor pieces, one of these friction pieces, one black Glatorian neck, one of these black armor shells. I believe it's just the, I guess, standard size. I'm not sure if it's a... It is a... Five long, I think. I'm not too sure about those. Uh, two Hordika necks, uh, one bone piece, uh, the silver ones used in the Skeletal Warriors, of course. Um, one of these black uh, Mata hands, improved ones. Uh, this in the dark bluish gray. This in the dark bluish gray. Uh, two black pins, one four long axle in light and dark bluish gray with the stopper. Uh, a three long axle in light bluish gray, two uh, blue axle pins, and one three long br reddish brown uh, axle with a stopper. So let's go ahead and get building this upper, or not upper, uh, lower leg. Alrighty, so the first pieces we are going to want to take are. Uh, these two pieces, as well as this Hordika neck, uh, this three long axle, and the light, or not the light bluish gray, but the brown axle with the stopper. We are going to go ahead and place uh, the three long axle on there. Then we will go ahead and place the Hordika neck inside here, just like so. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. So another, so, uh, yeah, this is a little confusing to me too. Sorry about that. Uh, next, no, not that next. Here, we're going to put this off to the side for a second. Now we are going to go ahead and take these blue uh, axle pins. Uh, we're going to place one right here on this little vertex or corner, I guess, right there, like so. And then we'll place another one right here, uh, one above it, I guess. So, like that. Then we're going to get one of these pieces, place it 
or not on that one. We're going to place it on this one. So it should look like this. We're going to get our two black pins and place them whoops, in here, just like so. Then we're going to take a Hordika neck and place it on here in that other blue axle pin. Should look like this. Whoops. And, um, I think, let, all right, yeah, let's move on to the uh, next shot. Whoops, that was not supposed to happen. Next part we're going to want to do here is uh, we're going to take this one again, and we're going to take uh, this uh, four long axle in the dark bluish gray with the stopper. Put that all the way through. We're going to want to get this uh, Mata hand socket, whatever it is called. I'm not too sure. Get the friction joint, just like so. Then, I believe, uh, what do we do here? Yes, okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and, well, we're going to get this back. We're going to place this uh, three long uh, brownish axle with a stopper in there. And it's going to spin a little freely, but that's okay. We're going to put the Hordika neck... Uh, right on there so just like that and it's going to be wobbly of course but that is why we have this here we are going to place this in like so so just put these two together like that and we've got this now we're going to take this other hordi connect that we have place it right there facing out yes facing out looks weird right now but it will not later Next thing we'll do is we'll take this little ball joint type piece, I guess, and place it on these axles like so, or not axles, pins, these black pins. We will go ahead and take this uh, skull, uh, Lord of Skull Spider's leg or whatever it is, place it right there on the Hordika neck. Then we will go ahead and take this skeleton bone from the uh, 2015 uh summer sets and place it right there on the back with the Hordika neck and these uh, these two ball joints will connect the lower leg to the feet of course and next is pretty simple we add on the armor piece right there like so and then have the armor add-on from Tahu and then you're done that is the lower leg so we might as well go ahead and get the foot here and we're just gonna plop on the lower leg like so, connecting the clitorian neck to the front foot and then the bone piece to the back. And that is it for the lower leg. Let's move on to the upper leg. Okay, now this part is not all too complex, but I will still of course show you. We're gonna go ahead and take this bone piece with the two uh, two pinholes right there we're gonna get this uh, I guess 2008 thing I'm not too sure what it's called but take that piece put it in here in the back then we'll take this thing I forgot what it's called again a lot of these pieces I don't really know the names of so please forgive me take this uh, friction adder place it right there on the top we're gonna take this uh, blue axle pin place it here right on the side just like so we'll deal with that later Take this uh, armor shell, the five long, I think. Yeah, five long. Place it like so, upside down, like that. And then we'll get this, I believe, four long. Yeah, it's a four long. And place it right here on the back, also facing upside down. And that is it for that step. Yes, very simple. But the next one's going to be a little bit more tricky, because it's mostly technic and not really any CCBS stuff. So let's get to that. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most complicated part of the leg, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and start off by taking one of these. This was in the 25th, or 2016 Anua Uniter Hammer. We're going to take one of these. One of these. Uh, if you can see it. Oops. All right. It's, it's that piece. You, I'm sure you know what it is. So we're going to go ahead whoops, and start off by doing this, just sticking the, the pin through there, just like so. 
then we are going to put this in like that. And the axle hole has to be facing outwards like so, or I'll, or actually, whoops, false information, it has to be facing outwards like this, not that. So, no, it has to be facing outwards like this instead. So, yep. Yeah. Next part you're going to want to do is get one of these. There you go, one of those. One of these, or actually, actually, no, you don't need one of those yet. Uh, you will need one of these, I guess, L-type shape pieces. I'm not really sure what they're called. Uh, a black pin, just a standard one, nothing too special. And one of these with an axle hole and a, uh, a pin hole in black. So we're going to go ahead and start off by placing this piece right on top right there, like so, just like that. Then next we are going to place this uh, pin in right here, just like so. Then what are we going to do next? All right, we're going to take this L-shaped piece, I guess, and place it like so. So there we go. And we're going to take this other piece I mentioned earlier, of course, the axle hole and pin hole type thing, and we'll just put it in like so. A little tricky to sometimes get it on there, but it will go on. There we go. It's just like that. Now we can go ahead and get this, uh, this piece and put it on right here on the other side of the L. Then we can take this piece and then just, uh, where do we put this? All right, we put it right here, just like that. There we go. And that is pretty much it for, uh, whoops, I can't believe I forgot. Whoops, there is these pieces as well. So we are going to go ahead and take each of those and just place them on these axles right here. So one is going to be able to move around and one is not. So that is the probably the most complicated part of this video and the legs. So, and that's pretty much it for the legs. Now let's go ahead and put this on the legs and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place the upper leg first, just like so. Just fits on nice and easy like so. And it's not going to really bend all the way up like that because of this. Piece, unfortunately uh, we are gonna put this on now so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to line up this uh, blue axle pin with this piece in the axle hole so we're just gonna put it on there like so this is a little difficult to explain but if you actually build it it'll be easy to understand uh, but uh, yeah that is the leg and yeah so I'm not gonna be going over the other leg so uh, I forgot to build the other leg, uh, hold on. Okay, so what I was saying is that I'm not going to be going over on how to build this other leg. Basically, what you're going to want to do is the complete opposite of this. And by opposite, I mean just do it on the other side. So, if I say, uh, uh, well, for some of these things. So, like, you'll, you'll get it. Just, like, reverse some of the stuff. Like, this stopper pin is going to have to go... The stopper is going to have to go on this side instead of this one. You, you'll you understand. Uh, you, you'll get it, I guess. So I'm not going to be going over how to build both of them, but you'll figure it out. I, I can trust you. I, I And I'm getting a little tired. I'm not. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for this part of how to build Makuta 2016. And the next, uh, and the next part of this... Uh, let's build or how to or whatever it's called i'm not really sure um i don't know we are going to build drum roll no all right we're gonna build the arms and you might be thinking wait but what about the body you should build the body yeah we're gonna save that for probably for last or you know what? No, we're gonna... Actually, I can't really say when we're gonna do it. But, uh, anyways, 
we are gonna stay tuned for next time when I go over how to build the arm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and keep building.